Okay. We're recording now. So I've arrived at the site for the uh, vigil today. This is uh, the day of remembrance for here for the Holocaust, actually. And we're right in front of the uh, Holocaust Museum uh, at the far corner of the building there, which is the Jewish Community Campus, controlled by the uh, Combined Jewish Appeal, basically the Jewish National Bourgeoisie of Montréal. And uh, I wanted to show you first, you know, before starting, that I put up a poster here a long time ago with a quotation from Samuel against war and against uh, being a nation like other nations and against kings and all that. And also the other notice, uh, there, you can see it better. Yeah, that notice as well. Oh, okay, we're still recording. Yeah, there's the uh, other little notice with a, a blur on what the uh, vigil is about. Okay, so now we're going to start to go and set up. Winter coat here. And here we go. But very interesting to see what the reaction of the of uh, the, the Zionists is today, you know, because the uh, purpose of the vigil has been legitimatized and uh, provided uh, with uh, immense credibility by the International Court of Justice. There's a security guard, my security guard, the one to keep me outside of the building. Uh, here's the first sign, well actually the second sign of the vigil. The first was uh, an old uh, flag card from uh, 2006 when uh, we started the uh, Jewish opposition movement here in Montreal. And it was uh, the one that said, not in our name. And that became rather popular. Okay, so, oh, got to get my scarf out of the way. There. Now next is the banner. There's a technique to doing this. No to genocide. No to genocide. Did you hear me? No to genocide. No. Not as cold as last week. Last week was minus 12 and the, and the banner sort of became rather rigid. No to genocide. Oh, some more sticky stuff there. No to genocide. Yes, and installed some uh, QR codes. Now, let's see. I made a hole here for the ties. I was using uh, K 
tape before, but it got so cold the tape wouldn't stick. Oh my. That worked in the bottom last week. Let's see now. This one. Oh boy. They're dangerous things. You can't let them slip and bounce back and hit you in the eye. It happened to my uncle. <sighs> yes, that uncle, the uncle by marriage, who was a war criminal. Yeah, Herr Schweintilber. Yeah, he told me about 1956. Well, I think that's going to work. He was a soldier in the uh, Zionist military. Oh, I have to show you the sign with the QR codes, the banner. Oh, I have to paint some more in here. So he was a soldier in 1956 fighting for Israel to occupy the Suez Canal and the Sinai Peninsula. For some reason he thought he was made to do that. He had nothing much else left in the world because all of his uh, village had been uh, massacred during the Holocaust in Russia or Ukraine. Anyway, he admitted to me after a while, after denouncing me for years for being a traitor, that he had uh, been ordered to execute Palestinian prisoners of war not Palestinian prisoners of war, Egyptian prisoners of war. What does your sign say? Bring him home. Yeah. It's terrible. I mean, I can't believe it, what they've gone through. Thank you. No to genocide. A beep. The first beep of the day. No to genocide. In Gaza. No to genocide. No to genocide. No to genocide. Bonjour. No à l'occupation. Il y a des juifs et il y a des juifs, hein? <laughs> No to genocide. No to genocide. Petit, I don't know what he was saying. <laughs> 